Well, la muerte me da. I'm not so sure about the translation of this title. Perhaps a good one would be death provides me. Uh, in any case, this is a, a, a verse cut in half. Uh, it's a verse by uh, uh, the Argentinian poet Alejandro Pizarnik. And what we have here is what I call a misbehaved thriller because he might take some of the elements that we associate with, with the thriller. There is a detective, a female detective here, investigating a very strange case. It's a case of four castrated men. Uh, but uh, it is mis a, mis a misbehaved thriller because it, it, it is a novel that um, exposes a range of writings. There are chapters that are presented in an essay-like style. There is a poetry book, in fact, contained as a chapter in this book. So um, the, the issue here is to explore what fragmentation does in terms of the plot, the, the cut of the body, of the male body in this case, and in terms of the writing as well, with very short phrases, very short chapters that are in many ways cut in half as well, just as, as the plot is, is, is doing uh, with, with, the, with the bodies of, of these several men. This one is, it has been translated into English as no one, uh, uh, no one would see me cry, no one will see me cry. That's a translation and it's published by Curbstone in English. And, and this is a different story, it's based on a very close reading of um, medical files from an insane asylum that used to be located in Mexico City. And the novel explores life in the margins of uh, Mexico City, life, uh, daily life from the point of view of the weakest of the weak in society, those who have been in turn uh, committed to, uh, to a mental health institution and, and the stories that they, they tell many times um, upside down, stories of modernization but from the point of view of those who did not benefit from it. Well, the, the, um, I've been doing, this is the only book that has been translated into English so far, of the ones that I've been uh -huh. working on. Uh, I did live in the United States for 15 years and uh, I've been having um, um, an active life career as a historian here, so most of my work in English is my academic work. My literary work is all of it in Spanish, even though what I've been trying to do lately is uh, I, I, I launched a very interesting exercise with a translator, with poet and translator, Jen Hoffer, that we call it our, um, our post-mother language project. And it's, a, it's a poetry book that I wrote originally in my second language, in my post-mother language, which is English, and, and, uh, and a book that she translated into Spanish, that is, into her own second language. So I've been doing work with these spaces that, that emerged between and, and among these, these languages and trying to do things that um, invite the reader to think critically about the world in which we live. But um, I guess that there are several selves. We all have several of them. Uh, but I, I like to think about the self that moves continuously between these two extremes. Uh, and I like to think of, uh, of what happens precisely in those in-between spaces. That I think the most interesting things in life, uh, the most critical things in life, are precisely in these in-between spaces, colliding spaces, that are so inviting to, to creativity and to work, to this creative work that is, is a lot of work, daily work. And, uh, and I, I, I tend to see myself as such, as someone who is working with this wonderful, marvelous tool, which is language. And I'm traveling within these two worlds, among many other worlds. I'm very uh, enthusiastic about a project that I've been just invited to participate in. I'm, I'm writing um, the script for an opera, something that I haven't done before. Eh? And that's the reason why I'm, 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 I'm very glad I'm participating in it. And I'm writing short stories, perhaps next year, in a couple of years, I, I could have another book. Right now, I'm just um, I'm leaving behind this, La Muerte Me Da. So I'm, I'm talking a lot about this, and um, in, in a way, beginning these other um, projects that involve uh, interdisciplinary work.